I think there's been a ton of change. Family law within the last five years, particularly a decade, it's very different than what it first was when I began practicing. Now, because of judicial backlog and vacancies, cases are not tried as frequently, as often, as easily as they were in the past. And that trickles down. It doesn't just apply to trying a case for an ultimate decision. It also applies to motion filings. If you're seeking relief from a court, you can still seek relief from a court, but because of judicial vacancies and backlogs, you may not be able to get that relief as quickly as you could have in yesteryear. And I think that's really changed the practice, not just family law, but the practice of law generally, because I think people are realizing that if they want to seek a, a quicker resolution, I'll put it that way, then they may have to try more out of court methodologies out of the gate. I've also found that over time, there's been a shift just with how we deal with certain issues. For example, custody. I think a decade ago, 50-50 custody was not as popular or sought after. I think social norms have changed, gender norms have changed. I think COVID work from home and hybrid schedules have affected things. I think nationally, there's trends trending toward a 50-50 type approach to custody. So I certainly think that issue in and of itself is changing and has changed over time. But it doesn't just end with custody. Financial issues have changed. Since I started practicing, the alimony statute was amended. We now have different retirement language. We have a cohabitation statute that has really been case law encapsulated within the statute, but it's required interpretation. Just recently, the New Jersey Supreme Court issued a decision in Cardali versus Cardali, which is now a landmark case in the interpretation of that cohabitation statute that I just referenced. So it's an area of the law that is certainly not stagnant. And I think it is one that will continue to develop, certainly as the law develops. And as I said, as social norms and people develop, as our way of life changes, what I do necessarily has to change. Because as I said before, this is such a personal area of law.